All right, Team Jellyfish, let's jump right into this Lo-Fi Friday. I got to squeeze in a few more patio sessions with you. We're going to do these middle triad sets. We're going to do a C, we're going to do a G, we're going to do an A minor. And that's on the D, G, and B string. Okay, and if you want, here's a little bonus for you. There's an A minor triad on the G, B, and high E right there too. Okay, so, but we're going to go for this one. But if you get this one, that's great too. So here's what you're going to do. The reason these simple triad shapes are the best for rhythmic stuff is because they're in the middle, they're in the middle string set. So they're kind of, they're in between the high E and the low E. So you can do stuff like this. Let's point out something really quick though. Watch this. I'm just gonna do down strokes, okay? All right, now, Really quick to point out, a lot of you've asked, my thumb is over, okay? And a lot of you are gonna say, I can't do this, my fingers are too short. You will adapt, I promise you, you will find a way. I am muting those strings with the thumb. That is a muting technique. Muting is a whole nother realm that you need to add to your playing. It's a cumulative effort. That's why we say connect the dots. That's what's going on, so watch this. Some of you are gonna be like, well, you're playing a C major triad, I am. They're gonna say, well, your thumb is on the C sharp on the low E. I'm not fretting that, okay? So I'm not, it's just this. So it doesn't matter if you're a beginner, an advanced player, an intermediate, this is just a great thing for you to practice. So let me go down to the G and then to the A minors, like this, watch. Just down strokes. To the A minor. I threw in a little hitch there. Now that one's great when you get this G, B, and high E, because you go. Okay, so again, just down strokes. C to A minor. Now it's funny, I'm playing my Martin today and the action's lower on this, so some guitars are gonna make you adapt your technique a little bit, which will make you a better play. Meaning the action's lower on this guitar, so I gotta be a little bit more pressure sensitive with my thumb. You don't wanna squeeze the life out of the neck. If you're squeezing too hard or you're fretting too hard, that's what you wanna like remedy over time. And just by playing, that's gonna happen. Like the best players in the world, they're barely fretting the notes. It's like just, it flows. So you wanna get this. Eventually, after you get this downstroke thing, okay, we're gonna add in a better rhythm. Not a better, but it's just different. Then you can spice it up, watch this. I threw there, those are just right out of the A minor pentatonic. So you're always going to hear me on this channel, connect the dots, connect the dots. You need to have awareness of what's around you, where you are, where you can head. So that's when all the scales and different chord shapes, but these triads are, that's the money. That's the money for you, okay? That's the currency that you need to get to the next level. And I'm going to start building out the triads for you guys. You've been asking. I got them all over this channel. <laughs> I need to get a playlist organized for you. So I promise I'm going to do that, all right? But what I want you to do, if you're a total beginner, even if you're not, I'm. you just sit around and just take the C, just get this C, a major triad, C, E, G. Just see how well you can do just that one with just downstrokes, how cleanly you can get it. Practice your thumb muting, okay? Build that rhythm. Little drummy. Just go back and forth from this, uh, this G to the C. Then the minor. Then if you get comfortable with that, maybe when you're just sitting on the C, funkify that a little bit, all right? Rhythm, add in a, rhythm, a new rhythm for that. So maybe, um. Sometimes I'm not even playing the notes. I do there <laughs> again awareness i just did tech i took that rhythm that muting and then i just threw in a little lick out of the a minor pentatonic but your practice today your focus is to take these middle triads on the d g and b strings um d g and yeah and then practice getting a tight rhythm with those start wherever you want but just see if you can get that
that's pretty much it. So I want you guys to practice this because when you add it all together and you start getting the rhythm part and you get the muting part, it starts to flow and you're gonna feel it. You're gonna have that, you're gonna get really excited about it because it, it just lends, it, you know, you went up. We get stuck in plateaus as guitar players. All right, I think that's enough. You guys got some work to do, you got some jamming to do. So drop a comment, drop a question, anything. I can here to help you. A lot of people on this channel, we have amazing, everyone's amazing here. Everyone comments and we're all here to help each other. All right, so if you made it this far, drop jellyfish in the comments, drop your favorite sea creature in the comments. Just don't stop. I gotta go because little man summons, uh, is calling me over here. I'm getting the dad call. So keep going. Have a great day. Guitar is amazing. Enjoy the journey, embrace it. All right, see you in the next video. Later.